Hey guys, it's Joshy here, and I'm back with another Sword and Shield theme team. So this is actually my Many Eyes theme team, or you could look at it as an Extra Eyes theme team. The reason I say Many or Extra is because I'm rolling into more, but this was actually suggested on my Discord. So if you would like to suggest one, there is a section on my Discord to suggest anything you'd like. And um, there are more to get to, and I'm going to turn this one into a little mini-series. So anyway, this first one here is against Reason. Now, I usually don't always use moves just like this but this time I thought you know what um, video sorry the reason I'm using a video like this well I'll show you because a couple of my Pokemon really got to show off so this is my um, Alola oh, oh sorry my far out I went to say Garlean Mr. Mime but obviously we're Mr. Rhyme we're our new evolution so I actually have Ice Body the hidden ability so I thought I'll set up Hail expecting a trick room or a, an attack to come in either way I thought I'm pretty confident I can do decently against this thing um, and at least being able to recover depending on the output it's going to give me so anyway I am um, I ended up getting hit by the Dazzling Gleam, and it does a lot more than I expected, and I was like, okay, well, life orb. So anyway, I went to the Ice Punch, so I was like, let's just see. I should be able to get decent damage, which I do, and then I get the Freeze, and I'm like, yes, okay. Did not expect that, and I am extremely happy with how that has gone. So, you know, I'm going to heal up. We're going to, you know, Hatterene's going to take damage there, or Hat Trick from the Hail, so we're doing alright. And um, Reason actually said he stuffed up, and he went for the Mystic Fire, but he decided to just went for the Stab move, so it was a bit of an unlucky one there. But nonetheless, I can go again, and I'm going to take out that Hatterene, who I was actually fairly afraid of, so pretty happy with that. And yes, okay, my battery's running low while doing this battle, and this is a problem when it randomly starts mid-battle. So anyway, I get a bit more recovery off there, and I thought, okay, well, who's in next? So... Uh, this is the thing about live battles too. I'm not going to cut all this out because I've got a max of 20 minutes for a battle and most people are on it. So anyway, we got Sass, the um, bloody, you know, Aegislash coming. Sword and Shield. I get the nickname. It's cool. I just don't like this Pokemon. So we're going to get a Swords Dance coming in and I was like, oh, okay, well, let's all dream and hope for another freeze because I'm not going to get it. Let's be honest. But... I um, just want to be able to do something, but at least I still get a bit of recovery. Look, I'm going down next turn. We all know that's going to happen. So, realistically here, I'm just after, well, damage at this point. And then I see that we're, we're going to be obviously carrying the wonderful, wonderful leftovers. So, I was like, oh, look, I, I mean, I can't hit him with anything else anyway at this point. So, I'm just going to keep going for the same thing. Um, we're going to get stance change, probably coming into a priority move or something, just waiting to see. And, um, yeah, we're going to get the shadow sneak, so I'm like, I don't think we're going to be going over too well with this, and we're not. So we're going to go down there, but I'm not too stressed. I mean, the thing is, even though this thing has um, priority and it is doubled, it's still only priority, and it actually did get nerfed by t base 10 in both uh, attack, defense, and sorry, attack and special attack in sword form, and defense and special defense in shield form. So I thought I'm going to take advantage of this. I'm really hoping I can pull it off, and um, I'm going to swap into my clay doll. So this clay doll is a pretty fun set. It is actually a weakness policy, trick room, nasty plot, psy shock, and earth power set. So carrying the weakness policy, you know, being quiet, having max HP, max special attack. I can usually get alright. Now here I'm just checking the Pokemon off because I thought I don't really want to commit to a Dynamax at the wrong time. So I've really got to think about it. So anyway, we're going to have the um, Shield form swap in and the King Shield come in. So I'm like, okay, well that's alright. Because, well, I did set up... I Sorry, no, I was... My mistake. I was thinking of setting up the Trick Room, but then I thought this guy's actually probably going to be a lot slower than me because Claydol, even though I haven't got, I haven't got the worst um, speed ever, but... Um, I haven't got, <coughs> excuse me, I have decent base speed anyway. <coughs> excuse me, far out, I can't get this right. So anyway, I'm going to get Shadow Sneak, I'm going to live, which is exactly what I wanted, be able to pop that weakness policy, so I'm like, good, max HP definitely helped out there with the priority move, if he used a, just a base move, I probably wouldn't have been good, and I'm like, come on, it's stab, and it's enough, we can take out this damn... Um, edgy slash, which is threatening as hell to come up against. So I'm like, okay, good. This set did prove useful. We can do work with it. So that's what I wanted. So next we're going to get Donald coming in. So Donald is the uh, Cramorant. And I was like, okay, good. I can work against Cramorant. So I'm just going to go here. I thought I'm going to go for the Psyshock. Shock. I'm expecting to be taken out and I'm correct. And um, 
yeah, well, I'm going down. But that's fine. I got rid of the Aegis Slash, which realistically could have caused a lot of problems to my team. So I thought, who will I swap into next? And I thought, you know what, I'm going to swap into my Galvantula because I'm probably going to scare him out, which gives me a chance to set up because this set is an awesome set I love. So I'm a Jolly Nature, max... Um, speed max special attack i run electro ball bug buzz agility i have swarm so i can make sure bug buzz is worthwhile but if you wanted to run something else obviously running a um energy ball wouldn't be bad and then endure so here he's actually going to be boosting up for the defense here which is fine because i'm four times super effective and although i'm not boosting my special attack and everything at this stage i'm actually doing quite well to make sure that i'm boosting my speed because if you didn't know uh electro balls base power comes based off your speed compared to your opponents now some pokemon obviously it's not going to work too well against other pokemon more but i really wanted to capitalize and make i've thought of this set for ages now obviously using compound eyes and thunder is you know obviously you're going to come out with a stronger move a lot of the time but i really wanted to try this set out now i also carry the potato berry so i can endure a hit live on one hp pop a potato get a special attack boost as well and then i can be doing pretty darn well after that you know so here i thought it's time to go for the electro ball even at those plus three in special defense i'm thinking i can definitely handle myself so waiting to see and um yeah, come on, it's four times super effective, and I'm very much faster. But I'm going to have an Aracuda blasted at me there, lose a quarter, and get a defense drop, which is a bit of a problem. But nonetheless, I can prove my usefulness. So this set really did start to shine here. So I was like, okay, well, let's see what we're coming in next, because, you know, anything could be quite scary. So we have the Darmanitan. Now, this thing, whether it is... Any, it doesn't matter really. Whatever ability it's carrying, I don't like it. And until we get the tearing out, it's going to make it harder because I'm going to be versing top Pokemon like this and Agislash. So, either way, I'm now like, okay, well, I've got to deal with this thing. So I'm going to go for the Endure because I'm, I'm pretty adamant I'm going to be able to deal with this thing. But I've got to, um, well, I've got to deal with it. That's the thing. So... I was like, okay, well, let's see. I, I'm going to go for the Endure. As long as I don't get burnt, I'm assuming a Flare Blitz being super effective. Um, but you never know once I've had that defense drop. But I was correct. Got the Flare Blitz. But luckily, thanks to the Gigantamax, there is actually no chance of a burn. So I was really excited to see that coming there. And, um, you yeah, know, I was like, I'm feeling pretty confident here. So I can drop... Sorry, pop my Patea Berry. I nearly said drop my Detea. Um, pop my Patea Berry there and feel pretty damn confident at this one that I am going to outspeed and take out. So now I am, you know, plus six in speed and plus one in special attack. I am pretty confident and that shows and that actually did catch Reason off guard. And I love that because I love the animation of a fainting Gigantamax or Gigamax Pokemon. So... I was like, let's see what's coming in next, you know, and um, we're going to have the Toxtricity coming in. I'm like, okay, look, this is probably the best counter for me because both of my moves are not very effective. But I really did want to see how much damage I could do with an Electro Ball with just one boost in um, Special Attack and six in Speed. It doesn't quite take him out. It would have been great to be able to have that twice, but nonetheless, I am going to get taken out there by the Boom Burst, but that was fine with me. So I've got three left. He's got barely two, but two. So I thought, who should I bring in next? So I thought, you know what, I'm going to bring in my combi. Now this combi was someone who took me a little while to get because I was adamant on getting a shiny combi. So as you can see, there are a lot of eyes on these Pokemon. That's to give the theme team, obviously. So I thought, you know what, I was, I was only knowing what to go for here for a second. And I thought, no, actually, I'm going to go for a gust. I should be able to take him out with a gust, but gust definitely better suits his next Pokemon. So I was correct. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm guessing I'm not going to try and I'm probably wrong. Either way, it's going down. So now I'm like, cool, I've got one left to deal with. I don't know if Combi will do it. Now, I am Specs. I am a Bug bu uh, Sorry, I am a Bug Buzz Gust. Uh, struggle Bug. And I do carry Sweet Scent just just because. And so, you know what? I thought, I'll just go for the Gust. I actually outspeed. Now, I am max speed, max special attack. And I am a... Um, modest nature so anyway we're gonna get the sword dance i was like no he did not expect that amount of damage from a gust that was 
not very fortunate there. So I was like, oh, this may cost him. So anyway, I'm going to go for the Gust again. I mean, at this point, what else am I supposed to do? And if I don't take him out, that means it's a max to min roll, which would suck for me. But I do get that kill there. And I actually do will without sending two of my Pokemon out. And as I said, I usually wouldn't use something like this. But for the fact that that Galvantula set especially really got to shine... I had to show it off. So I really enjoyed that. So let's get into our second battle here. Um, I believe this one was, and it is, against a random offline, but it was one of those ones where it just it just showed um, showed something different, you know? And that's what I was really happy with. So anyway, well, sorry, not different, but just a decent battle. So we're going to lead off there. I'm coming against a Golos pod. I'm going to lead there as well with my Mr. Rhyme. Now, if you are wondering why Mr. Rhyme is in a multiple eye theme team, take a good look at his belly when he enters a battle or does anything. So here I was like, okay, we're going to get the first impression. I'm going to bank some money on that. And um, with the first impression coming in, I want somebody who definitely um, can deal with that. And uh, I will. So... You know, I, I take over half damage, but I'm expecting to outspeed unless he's got Sucker Punch. We're probably going to see a swap. So I thought, we'll see what happens. But he doesn't swap. I do get the Gust off, which is great. I don't quite get him down to that half, which is what I wanted. So unfortunately, um, Combi does become a little bit of a sack off there. But I was still happy with Combi's effort. So I was like, cool, I can, I can definitely work with that. So... I was like, who should I bring in next? And I was like, you know what, I'm going to bring in Galvantula. I'm either going to scare out to this Glossopod and get a free setup, or I'm going to get a free setup, I set up anyway, and then I'm going to be able to take him out. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go for the, um, the agility, because I'm either getting, as I said, free agility, or, you know, otherwise a, um, an attack. So we're going to get the swap, and then I was like, okay, cool. So we're coming into this, um... This bloody Mudsdale, a Pokemon I do actually quite enjoy for many reasons. But I was like, okay, well, I can't definitely can't hit with Electro Ball, which is a bit of a shame. But so I'm just going to hit with the um, Bug Buzz. I thought this way, at least with the Bug Buzz, I can um, I I, I can make sure we um, get a decent amount of damage. Yeah, we got stamina. I was expecting something like that, and then um. Yeah, I was like, okay, that didn't quite take me out. Good, I was hoping not. So I can now pop the Patea Berry and, you know, get that work off. And, um, yeah, I'm like, sweet. I should be able to take this thing out now with the Bug Buzz. I actually was afraid when he hit me before, expecting to go down. I also now do have the boosted uh, Bug Buzz as well because of um, Swarm, my hidden ability. So, again, Bug Buzz boosted both from Swarm and the Patea Berry. So that Mudsdale is going down, which I was happy with. Because that was, well, I mean, it was my biggest electrical counter, but my electrical Pokemon is nearly almost out of here. So, I was like, let's see what we've got coming in next. Now, first impression definitely would take me out at this stage, but we're actually going to have the um, uh, Cinderace come in, and I was like, all right, well, I'll go for the Electro Ball, although I'm not expecting it. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I could go for the Dynamax, and then I'll... You know, this is the thing. I can toss up around, and I thought, you know what? Maybe a Dynamax will get me a kill here. And if I can get a kill with the Dynamax, then giving me Electric Terrain, I'm going to be doing a lot of work against everything. The only problem is that first impression, if it does come back in. But even though I'll lose my boosts, I could swap, then swap back in and deal with it. So, you know, I was umming and ahhing about that, but, you know, we'll see how, what I decide. So, either way, I thought, go for the Max Lightning. you got to remember, I'm plus one in Special Attack, and it definitely is enough to take out that Cinderace. So, I was really happy with how I've been going with this. So, I was like, what should I do next? And I was like, um, you know what? I know what I should do next. I should just see what he comes in and deal with it. Now, I was like, you know, okay, we've got the, we've got the Snorlax. See how much damage I can do. I was like, I'm could go for either the Max Flutterby or Max Lightning. Max Lightning boosted by Electrical Train, Max Flutterby boosted by the Swarm. So I was like, oh, you know, chuck in between the two. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to go for the Max Lightning. I'm hoping to do a decent amount of damage. And then we're going to get the Gigantamax on that side. So I was like, oh, okay, well, there goes my fun. But that's fine. I can work with it. So I was like, hmm. 
Snorlax, Big Snad, no, you know, full HP. Uh, so at least the thing is, I can get a decent um, hit off, at least drop some HP down and go from there. So I thought, okay, let's see. Don't quite do half, which was a little disappointing. But I'm going to get hit with the Max Quake here, so I'm like, okay, well, this thing is just... Just raising some special defense, but definitely taking me out. So I've lost two, he's lost two. We're sitting in a pretty even area at this point. Um, I guess I kind of wasted my Gigantamax a little bit, not anticipating what could be coming in. I probably shouldn't have saved, I should have saved until a little later. So I was trying to decide what I should do next. I was like, okay, well, I still have Phalanx and Weezing who did make an appearance in the last battle, but. I thought, you know what, at this point, I think at least Weezing should be able to get a hit off. I am a um, max HP, and then a mix between defense and special defense uh, Weezing. And then I carry the Black Sludge, I'm bold, and then I have Toxic, Strange Stream, uh, Strange Steam, Clear Smog, and Venom Drench. So I thought if I could just get the poison off, at least this thing isn't going to be able to do a, you know, a lot to me. So, um... You know, I was, I was tossing up. I thought if I go down, I go down. If I don't, I don't. You know, it's all comes down to that. And um, I don't even take half, so I thought that's great. I didn't think I'd die, but I didn't take half, which I was really happy with. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go for the... You know, I thought at least if I go for the clear smog, I can reset all the stats here. So that way, this guy is now going to lose all his boost to his special defense already, and being poisoned then is going to become an easier target. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to get again. I'm going to get smashed here. I'm, as I said, not doing too great, but not doing too bad. Um, against this thing. I've dealt with it pretty well, you know. If you can manage a Gigantamax or a Dynamax Pokemon against you, you can you can turn a battle around because that may be their ace in the hole. So it all depends on that. So Snorlax is now gonna um you know it's finished there. So I thought I'm gonna go for the strange steam. I'm hoping to get the um the Oh my brain will catch up. Sorry, the um confusion off because it's a 20% chance but I can tell you now out of all the 20% chances I really did not get that lucky so I'm going to get a high horsepower I'm going to avoid it which is fantastic and uh well the black sludge is going to put me back into a better range and the poison is going to put him in a worse range so I was like okay well this thing is is going down next turn now the only thing is if he does have rest he can now use it so I thought oh I'm just going to go and then I'm like, do I, don't know, I don't know. So I thought if I go for a Venom Drench, you know, I go faster. I can at least make sure that, um, you know, I can be weakening his um, attack and special attack. So that way, whatever I'm going to be hit with is going to be nowhere near as powerful. So I think, as I said, here comes the high horsepower. Thanks to that, I do live it quite easily. Um, probably would have lived another one after that. So I, I've, you know, no problem to me. So... Um, Snorlax is going down, so now we're both sitting at, uh, well, he's sitting at three, sorry, I'm sitting at four, but I was, I was pretty confident, you know, so now we've gotten the, um, Dragapult coming in, I'm like, okay, well, look, I'm probably going to go down to this, um, I'm just going to go for the Toxic, if I can get a Poison off, that's fantastic, if I don't, I don't. I'm not aiming for it necessarily, but I'm hoping for it, obviously. Then we get the Draco Media pulled, and someone forgot I'm a fairy type, so I am lucky enough to get it. Now, that's the thing sometimes. If you rush pick a move and don't pay enough attention, you can actually end up causing that bit of a problem. So, you know, all's good and everything, but yay. So anyway, the poison is now done, so I'm, I'm feeling much happier to deal with this thing. And so I thought, oh, well, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to get hit with a skull. And I'm like, okay, well, lucky I have some special defense investment to live that one. Um, I think it's only a small amount, though. It's mostly defense, I'm pretty sure. Get the strange steam off. I actually do a lot more damage than I wanted to, than I expected, I should say. Not that I wanted to. I would have loved to have done it all. Done it all. And, um, yeah, the poison is going to be knocking down low. So I'm like, you know what? I am happy to die here because then I've already dealt with Dragapult. And dealing with Dragapult it can be a very nasty thing to do. So I'm going to be hit with Skull again, and that'll be enough to take Weezing down. And you know what? That's fine. Weezing did some great work this battle. And um, now we're both at three each, and then I was like, or oh, two. So, um, you know, 
easily dealt with. Uh, I've got the... Um, I was like, who do I want to bring in next? And I thought, I'm going to bring out, out Mr. Rhyme. I think it's... I think it's time Mr. Ryan did some work. So we've got Glossopod coming back in. I'm like, okay, well, I'm not... I'm expecting probably a first impression again. Just waiting to see what I'm going to get. But I thought... Mm, I wasn't sure, and I thought I'd go for Hail, but it could affect other people. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go for the Rapid Spin. Uh, hopefully I'm going to live. I do actually have a bit of mixed investment here. I have max defense um, and then a mix between attack and HP. And I do carry the rapid spin so that way I can outspeed my opponent and um, then, you know, cause a bit of damage the following turn. So I was like, okay, well, let's see what happens. Uh, I go for the drain punch, obviously just to get that tiny bit of recovery because I know it will knock him under half. And um, I, um, you know... I uh, at least do so get the tiniest, tiniest bit of recovery. And uh, the emergency exit's going to activate, so I'm going to be able to knock this thing out of the battle, not out in total, but deal with it that way. So I um, I was like, okay, well, he's got one other Pokemon, which is his Arc Dissolve. Now, I thought, I could Drain Punch this thing at least, get a decent hit off, you know, should be able to deal with it. There's some decent recovery. I'm not sure exactly what movie he's going to be coming in with. That's a different story really but you know we'll see so anyway we're um i'm liking this recovery we're definitely handling it well uh, we're gonna get hit with an ancient power now as i said i am more defensive than specially defensive but i do live it anyway being non-stabbed and not the most powerful move lucky no omnibus there so i can get the uh, drain punch off again and i was like okay cool nearly dead one more turn and i'm feeling pretty confident so I'm going to put myself in a nice area for it, and, um, oh, sorry, and, uh, you know, and then, and then I'm like, okay, well, now I'm getting hit with a discharge, which is interesting, and I was like, oh, well, I wasn't paralyzed, that was the main thing I didn't want, was the paralysis, and, uh, well, get that drain punch off, finish off that arc result, and now all I have to do is finish, deal with this, you know, Glossopod. So I've got one left and I've got three alive. But then I'm like, oh no, not static. <laughs> not damn static now. So as much as that was well dealt with, I am going to end up going down. Um, well, I mean, I'm I'm not going to swap out against the Glossopod because, you know, I'm paralyzed. So I thought, what move should I go for? you got to remember. I thought, look, I'm just going to go for the Drain Punch. If I get a chance to get an attack, then I actually go first. I'm like, okay, I wish I went for the Ice Punch. I could have got a Freeze or something. Like, what's going on here? And then I was like, let's just see. Yeah, get the recovery, get the recovery. Well, it's virtually nothing, but we've got some, you know. And um, then he's going to go for Leech Life. And I was like, no, someone else is after some recovery. So that is a, a not good for me. And um, I was like, okay, as much as he's down to one, I'm down to two, so... We'll have to see what's going to work here. And, uh, well, I thought, let's bring in Claydol. Claydol, as long as you can live a hit, we can do quite well. And, um, yeah, so that's the aim. Just live a hit and do a good hit back. So I go for the side shock. I actually go first, which, again, I thought was a possibility, which is why I didn't start this trick room. Uh, I don't do quite enough, and I get hit with a leech life, which is going to take me well down, like, much lower than I want to be. But, um, yeah. So I'm like, mm, the problem here is I can outspeed. I, my moves aren't great here. I obviously could replace um, Nasty Plot with something else. And that's the thought I've had, but I do just like carrying the uh, Nasty Plot for the sake of it. If I had Psychic, I probably would have gotten the kill there. But the problem is, I do not have Psychic. And I'm not carrying Psychic for the simple reason of, um, well... I'm, I just wanted to have that extra coverage, but because I'm hitting his defensive side and not especially defensive, I am actually running into a little bit of trouble. So anyway, I have one left, which is my Phalanx now. I think I had to quickly check something up here or something, which is why I didn't pick it straight away, and I didn't want to change, chop the music up, so we just can wait a couple of seconds. But as I said, the Phalanx is coming in last, so I'll go over this set because the Phalanx also didn't get to appear last battle. And this is my Defiant Phalanx. I am Jolly with a Salic variant, as you can see, just to make sure I get that extra boost. I have no retreat, 
and then which you know an omnibus right around and then I can't escape battle though and then I've got close combat throat chop and poison jab now those moves actually are a good combination throat chop dealing with the psychics and poison jab dealing with the fairies now yes I don't deal with the flying so well but I do have moves nonetheless that do deal with them anyway plus if I can get the defiant boost off then we're, we're, we're doing okay so I go for the poison jab. I'm hoping to do a decent amount of damage. Doing all right, but then I get the um, the poison, and I'm like, that is probably my saving grace. I was hoping for a defense drop there as well, so I could get a defiant activation. I don't get it, but I'm like, look, this thing is quite low. All I have to do is hit him, so I'm just going to go for the poison jab. He's, from what I've seen, not carrying any other um, priority moves other than what we've already seen in um, first impression and I'm going to take him out there only winning that one one nil after a little bit more of a convincing start I that glossopod really did well and I love that that glossopod did do well so I was like okay well that's that and I ended up getting two wins out of that I didn't have all round wins which was a little bit like you know, there was a few battles I did which weren't amazing, but that's fine, that's a part of it. But these were the two, and as I said, the one against Reason, I usually don't overly show off, but I really wanted to today, being the fact that it was, um, it was fun. That's the thing, it was fun, and it really did show off a couple of Pokemon who naturally, well, didn't get to show off. So guys, if you did enjoy this one, please do Electro Ball that like button. Don't forget Discord, Twitch, and Twitter are all linked down below. And um, from there as well, you can easily comment just below it. And if you'd like to keep up to date, show your support, then the sub button is down there. And I would like to add, if you would like to make sure you keep up to date with my streams and everything, I am streaming every day of the month in January. I am raising money on Twitch for... Um, Suicide Prevention, so I'd love to see more of you guys. But anyway, guys, until my next video, I'll see ya.